Chocolates, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and today we are in the kitchen. We are getting some cooking done. I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing three unique and very delicious tofu recipes that you may have never seen before, uh, but I definitely have never made these before and I'm so excited. But when I say I nailed them, I did good. Like they're so good. You would never know that tofu is in any of these. Not that I feel like tofu gets this bad rap. And it really shouldn't because it's delicious, it's super versatile, and it's a great plant-based alternative because it's high in protein, and it really takes on any flavor that you give it. Now, when it comes to tofu, you want to look for a really good quality one, and I really love Sunrise Soya Foods. They have a whole range of different soy products, so whatever you're looking for, they probably have it, and they're actually sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. I love that they are non-GMO, and I can always rely on the quality and freshness of their product, and I'm going to show you guys in today's video how to make three sweet and savory recipes that honestly are going to blow your mind that tofu is in them. You won't believe it until you try it and taste it. It's so good and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make them. So before we hop in, I want you to take a second and hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on a future video of mine. Also, all of these recipes will be linked down below in the info box on my blog so you can print them and make them tonight for dinner because they're so good. Okay, let's hop right into the video. First up, we are making my butternut squash and spinach lasagna roll-ups. We're gonna start by making the lemon herbed tofu ricotta. To a food processor, I'm adding in my Sunrise Extra Firm tofu that I've just drained and crumbled up, lemon juice, fresh lemon zest. This adds so much flavor and the tofu is just gonna soak it all up. Nutritional yeast, olive oil, and some fresh herbs that I've just chopped up. Today I have some oregano and basil which adds so much flavor and freshness to this ricotta. For spices, I have garlic powder and some sea salt and black pepper. You're gonna process this until you get a nice smooth ricotta looking texture. And I'm telling you, this legit looks like the real deal. I've made this before and with this fun new flavor combo, I'm just so obsessed. It really does taste and look like the real ricotta cheese. We're gonna set that aside and start with our butternut squash sauce. To a pot with some boiling water, I'm adding in my steamer and some peeled cubed butternut squash. I actually already bought it prepared, which makes it really easy. And I'm just gonna top it with a lid and steam it until it's fork tender. Transfer your butternut squash back to the food processor. Add in your choice of nut milk. I'm using some unsweetened oat milk, unsalted butter, and some sea salt and black pepper to season. Process until you have a nice smooth puree and you can set aside. All right, so now we're gonna make our veggie filling because as you know, lasagna has many layers. So to a large nonstick pan, I just added a little bit of olive oil, zucchini that I thinly sliced using a mandolin, frozen chopped spinach that I've just thawed and squeezed out all of the water, minced garlic and some sea salt and black pepper. Saute for a few minutes until the zucchini has softened and everything just smells like garlic and deliciousness and then you can set it aside because we are ready to roll up our lasagna roll ups. I've gone ahead and cooked my brown rice lasagna noodles. Just follow the directions on the package. To prepare these, you're gonna start off by spreading out the tofu ricotta along the lasagna noodle. Layer on some of the zucchini and spinach mixture and then gently roll up until you've reached the end. They're actually quite easy and quick to prepare, so don't worry, you're gonna get through it really quickly. You can just do it normal style, but I just think the flavor really cooks up nicely when they're just in little rolls. To a large casserole dish, you're gonna spread out some of that butternut squash puree mixture. This is just gonna help the roll-ups not stick to the bottom. Evenly place your lasagna roll-ups so they fill up the casserole dish. Mine fit 12 perfectly. Take the rest of the butternut squash mixture and just evenly spread it across the top. Now this is the last step, which is definitely crucial. You're gonna sprinkle some freshly grated mozzarella cheese. You can obviously omit this step if you want it to be completely dairy-free, but I just think it adds a really nice final touch to this lasagna. Cover with foil and pop it into the oven to bake. And once it's ready, this is what it looks like. I like to garnish it with some freshly chopped herbs for presentation, but also it's a really nice flavor when you bite into it. And you can serve this right away while it's nice and hot. And it's honestly so good. Probably my favorite lasagna I've ever made. You definitely need to try this recipe. It is a crowd pleaser. 
Next up we have my crispy baked tofu nuggets. In a shallow bowl, you're gonna mix together eggs and tamari. This is just gonna add some extra flavor for when we're dipping our tofu blocks into the dredging station. In another bowl, we're gonna mix together some brown rice breadcrumbs. You can use whatever ones that you like. Sesame seeds, nutritional yeast, and some spices. I have onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, sea salt, and black pepper. And then just give that a quick mix with a fork. So now we're gonna set up our dredging station. I have brown rice flour, I got the breadcrumbs and the egg mixture. And for the tofu, I'm using the Sunrise Extra Firm again because it really holds up its texture really well, but also it just holds on to all the breading that we're gonna put onto it. First thing I'm gonna do is coat it in the brown rice flour. I like to use one hand for dry and one hand for wet so you don't end up with like an oven mitt of breading on your hands. Dipping it into the egg tamari mixture and then finally into the breadcrumb mixture. And as you can see, it's gonna coat really easily onto the tofu and then repeat this until you have breaded all of your tofu nuggets. I'm gonna prepare a baking sheet lined with a silicone baking mat with some sprayed avocado oil. I love this little spray bottle. It makes it really easily to evenly spray your baking mat without using too much oil. Lay out all of your tofu nuggets and we're gonna pop it into the oven to get crispy and golden. As always, all of the directions will be over on my blog. A link will be down below. This is what it looks like when they are out of the oven. They are so crispy and delicious, and you can dip them in whatever sauce that you like. I made a really quick sriracha lime mayo sauce, which will be on the blog post. You guys are gonna love these. They're so fun to make, and they're super crispy, even though they're just baked in the oven. All right, now it's time for dessert. I am making my healthy tiramisu. We're gonna first start by making the crust. To a food processor, I'm adding in some really juicy, soft medjool dates that I have pitted. Process them until you get a nice smooth ball that kind of resembles caramel. I like to just break mine up before we add in the rest of the ingredients. I have a couple of teaspoons of my favorite herbal coffee that I'm just adding some boiling water to. You can use regular coffee if you'd like. I just don't do well with caffeine, um, but which, whichever one will work well for this recipe. Add that into the food processor vanilla extract, a pinch of sea salt, and some almond flour. And then just process until smooth. You almost wanna get this soft cookie dough kind of consistency. It's gonna be really delicious at the bottom of our creamy tiramisu. And this is what it should look like. Next, we're gonna make the creamy middle layer, which is the mascarpone cheese. I'm using Sunrise Medium Firm Tofu that I've drained, it has just enough of a silky texture, but firm enough that it's gonna set in the fridge. For our sweetener, I'm using maple syrup, melted coconut oil, unsweetened soy milk. This is just gonna help it thicken up a little bit more than other plant-based milks. Almond butter, vanilla extract, a pinch of sea salt, a couple of splashes of some dark rum. Blend this on high until silky smooth. You really want no lumps in this mixture. And then set it aside while we prepare our crust in our little ramekins. So this recipe either makes one large tiramisu, but I really like to do them in little portion sized dishes. So you're gonna scoop out and divvy up the crust mixture and then just press it down with your fingers. Top it with the creamy tofu mascarpone filling. And you're ready to pop this into the fridge for a few hours to set. Once they're ready, you can go ahead and lay them out on a cooling rack or a plate, and we're just gonna dust them with some cocoa powder. There is something so satisfying about all of these different flavors, the cocoa powder, the creamy center with the cookie bottom. You guys will love this recipe and you will wanna make it again and again. It's so good. I can't get over this tiramisu. This is probably one of the best desserts I've ever made and I never would have thought to put tofu in it. I really challenged myself on this one, but I'm so happy with the outcome. I always use tofu in savory dishes, and this has inspired me to try it in more desserts like this one. It's so good. You can't taste the tofu, yet it like creates the best texture possible for this dessert. That's so good. I just want to say a huge thanks again to Sunrise Soya Foods for sponsoring this video. Honestly, I've been using their products for years. Matt loves them, and you do not have to be vegan or vegetarian to enjoy tofu. We love switching things up, and like I said, so versatile, and it really takes on any taste that you want to add to it. And 
Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that they have new packaging, so keep an eye out in your local grocery store. I hope today's video uh, proved that you can use tofu in so many different ways and it will be delicious and it's fun to play around and see what you can create next. As always, don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos on here every single week and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.